good everybody, it's Yuton Crobat here, bringing you what I believe to be week 3 of the ICBA. The reason why I'm saying week 3 is because we grabbed Tesla's team, Tesla left, and we grabbed his team, so we have his team. Uh, so I believe it is week 3 of the ICBA, and this week we're going up against Alpha. Now the team that we are bringing is uh, Greninja, Black Glasses, uh, Protean, because in this league, um, you're allowed to have Ubers, I believe. Yeah, you're allowed to have Ubers. So, uh, Protean Greninja... Uh, so 50, uh, oh my lord, uh, 52 in defense, 252 special attack, 204 in speed, and, uh, timid nature with a 30 special attack, 30 in speed, um, regarding, I guess, uh, IVs, anyways, moving on, uh, dark pulse, water shark, and hidden power, fire, hydro pump, uh, man Chow has the fist plate with the regenerator, uh, 36 HP, 252 special attack, 220 in speed with the Jolly Nature, High Jump Kick, Sub, Toxic Poison Jab, Extra Drill with the Chapel Berry, uh, Mold Breaker, uh, which is a great ability, yeah. but anyways, 52 uh, HP, 252 speed F, 204 speed, Jolly Nature, Rapid Spin, EQ, Toxic, and SD, Rotom, Mo with the Choice Scarf, uh, 164 HP, 132 special attack, 212 in speed, Modest Nature, with uh, Volt Switch, Leaf Storm, Trick, and Hidden Power Fighting, now, uh, Vaporeon we are bringing with, uh, lefties, water absorb, uh, so, 252 HP, 252 in defense, four speed F, bold nature, which protects scald and roar. Last but not least, we are bringing Rhydon with the Evil Light. Uh, we have the lightning, wrong, lightning Rod ability, which doesn't really matter, but 252 HP, 252 defense, uh, four speed F, impish nature, stealth rock, EQ, avalanche, and fire punch. Uh, looking at his team, he is bringing the Levani, the, oh my god, the Lando, the Kyurem, the Rodom, the Scizor, and the Heatran. I can already tell, looking at his team, I can already tell three Mons can be very fucking deadly. Lando, Kyurem, and the Scizor. We are going to be going into this battle right now, while I plug my 3DS in. <laughs> so just bear with me, but... As you're going to see momentarily, I am going to be leading out with my Rhydon, and as you see, he's, he is going to be leading out with the Levani, which is kind of annoying, but at the same time, it doesn't bother me too much because I know with EVs that Rhydon has, we can live like a Leaf Blade or whatever this thing wanted to do, but this man is setting up first turn, bro! This man setting up first turn. I'm setting up my rocks, which is great, but at the same time, He's setting up, and because he's setting up, I already fucking know he's gonna have Baton Pass. He's already going to make my life a living hell. First turn, he's trying to sweep my fucking team, bro. He is trying to 6-0 my team. That's a great welcoming committee right there, I gotta tell you. <laughs> um, but I thought it was a, a little too early for me to try over-predicting, or rather just predict. So, you're gonna see momentarily, I am gonna be going for the EQ, because like I said, I don't, I didn't really want to predict too early. I went for the safe, relatively safe, uh, Earthquake, and as you can see, he is setting up the SD, and dude, this man is trying to destroy our team, but luckily, Rhydon does pack the Avalanche, which means, which means, uh, he, uh, Lando is to hit KO'd with that Avalanche, and with the EPs that we are invested in, we, from full, we can absolutely live one EQ from a plus, what, plus one, whatever SD does, plus one, plus two, uh, Lando, probably plus one, but anyways, we're able to destroy this fucking threat of Amon with our second Avalanche, had he, dist had he gotten rid of of Rhydon, that would have caused a huge problem, because then he could have just potentially destroyed the rest of our team. I mean, I guess uh, Exo Drill would be there, but I mean, that doesn't really help a whole lot. Uh, it doesn't really help as much as Rhydon does, really. I'm switching out, because this, uh, I don't, I want to preserve Rhydon for later in the battle, and our Heatran switching is, in fact, our Vaporeon, uh, but Alpha, Alpha is going for that safe middle play, which is pretty good, uh, because it does hit everyone on the team, and it does, I would like to say, and I'm probably right, is it does a little bit more than an overheat or heat wave would do. So I, I'm happy he went for that safe metal play, something I would have done as well. He's going to set up his rocks. I easily could have went for a Scald right here. What I wanted to do was just, I'm, I wanted to roar, because if this thing was going to go for a Toxic or just anything, I really wanted to try and predict. We do pack that Protect but I wanted to drag someone out and have them get hurt with the rocks because if I want to win this battle, then I need to wear down his team and with those rocks up, he really has no way of getting rid of them um, unless he has a potential uh, defog scissor. 
but unless he doesn't have that, we are safe with setting up the rocks and everyone's gonna get fucking hurt. I'm going into Exo Drill because I know for a fact that if this thing wanted to Leaf Plague, we can take it. But he is going to be setting up the Sticky Web, which poses a problem because we do have the Mancha, we do have some Mons who do not benefit at all from them losing their speed. So I really need to rapid spin those Sticky Webs away. Now this is one threat that I really need to work around. This Scizor could have SD, yeah it could have Defog which would be nice. But at the same time, like I mentioned, could have SD. This could be an SDing uh, Mega Scizor, which could hurt our team a lot. But I can't really, I don't have a lot of mons to really deal with it unless I get to see how much, unless I see what he has for moves, is what I'm trying to say. So I'm going to Vaporeon, because Vaporeon is one of our great walls that can somewhat deal with Mega Scizor. Until I see what this thing's stats look like, then I can or I can't really work around it. But looking at how much superpower that did, I know for a fucking fact that I can work around this scissor. It's no problem at all. He already lowered his attack, which I can work around uh, because I can wish, I can protect, I can scald burn him, and he doesn't want that at all, I'm assuming, because he's going to switch out and go into his Rotom. Now, at this point, I... I really just thought he was going to be going into the Rotom, uh, because really, why wouldn't he? I wanted to wish, because at the same time, he did lower his attack, we can take that. I wanted to regain my HP, so if something like this were to happen, and if for whatever reason I needed to stay in, then I would feel safe about taking one full switch, but I know for a fact that I don't want to do that. I don't know why anyone would want to do that, but I'm going into Rhydon. And he's going to, he's going to raise our special attack with the Lightning Rod ability, which was actually really great to see. It was really, really funny because the Lightning Rod ability never really benefits us. I mean, it didn't really benefit us at all in this battle, but no one really activates it for us. I'm glad that he did. I really wish I had a special move during this battle because that would have been kind of funny using a special ride on. But he's going to go for the Hydro Pump. He's not going to allow us to uh, stay in. He's just going to try killing us with a Hydro Pump. Luckily, Consuela can eat those. We already scarfed Consuela, and I know for a fact he's switching out, so I'm going to be going for that safe Volt Switch. The reason why I know it's safe is because there's no chance in hell Rodom is going to be staying in on his Leaf partner, Consuela. So I'm going to get the initiative, and I'm going to be able to decide who I want to go into. I'm going to Six Foot Tongue, the Greninja, because I know a couple of things. One, I'm going out with speed, and I'm going to change into the Dark type, and I know that from that range, a Dark Pulse can eliminate the Levani, which is one, it's not even really annoying, but it is somewhat fast. So one somewhat fast Pokemon out of the way, and I'm proud about that, I'm happy. He is going to go out into <laughs> a Choice Scarf if I've ever seen one. <laughs> so uh, at this point in time, I know it's Scarfed. I cannot stay in. A Dark Pulse isn't, with the Black Glasses, it probably would have done a fair deal, but at the same time, we need Greninja for later in the battle. I need to switch the fuck out. I know that uh, Gore, Gore can, uh, with the EVs that we invested, um, actually no, at this point in time, I was actually sacking right on off, because on one hand, I wanted him to uh, lower his special attack with a Draco. If he had missed, that would have been great, but he didn't, and he doesn't miss a second Draco either. But that actually benefits us a lot, because with those two Dracos, he is lowering his special attack quite a fair bit. And I'm happy about that, because now I know that he's not going to be hurting our Pokemon at all, depending on who I want to bring in. Now, at this point in time, I am going to be going into Bitch Slap the Manchow, simply because, one, I'm Regenerator, two, at what, minus two, minus four, whatever, uh, Kyurem cannot touch Manchow. I'm going to go for a safe, um, what was it, high jump kick. HJK because why why wouldn't I no one on our opponent's team wants to get hit with an HJK So I was I had a free fucking high jump kick to really use and who who you know How many people can actually say they had a free high jump kick? But this bullet punch is gonna be doing a damn good amount of damage to Mancho and Luckily we're a regenerator because if we weren't that would have posed a huge problem for me That would have annoyed that would have annoyed me because I would have had to work around being less than half HP And that would have kind of sucked but luckily we're able to get rid of that scissor We weren't even sure if this thing was SD or not. Uh, I didn't see it, but I'm glad it I don't think it was I have no idea, but I'm switching out like I mentioned before cure scarfed I need to switch out, and I'm going to go into fuck off the um, at the extra drill there, because I know that I can take one Draco 
uh, if this thing wanted to use it, and in fact he does. With the EVs that we did invest into Exedrill, we're able to lift at least one uh, Draco, but from looking at that damage, I'm so fucking thankful he was Scarfed and not Specs, because had he been Specs or Expert Bolt or even fucking Life Orb, uh, that Draco would have been, would have done a hell of a lot more damage. I am in fact predicting him to switch out, because he knows that he can't kill me with another Draco, and he would have gotten hit with the EQ. I'm going in a 6 foot tongue at this point, because 1. I know that if I turn into the Dark type, and, he, and if he's going to Volt Switch, then the Volt Switch isn't going to be doing nearly as much as it would if I were stayed in and was like the Water type or whatever, and I really need to get some damage off on this Rotom, so looking at this damage right here, how much Volt Switch did, I'm just so fucking glad that I went for a Dark Pulse and not, I don't know why I'd go for a Water Shuriken or whatever, but I'm just glad I went for the Dark Pulse because that Volt Switch didn't do nearly as much. He's going back into his Scarfer, which is kind of obnoxious because now... I, I ha on one hand, I have to work around this, this devastatingly powerful Pokemon who is Scarfed, but on the other hand, I'm glad that he is switching him back in, because that means that uh, Kyurem is getting hit and injured more with those Stealth Rocks. The reason why he went for Earth Power is because he was, in fact, predicting the uh, the Exodrill, because that's exactly who we went into last time. We went into Exodrill predicting a Draco last time, so he wanted to predict, predict that and go for the Earth Power, which is fine by him. You know, it's a safe middle ground play, and I would have done the same thing. Uh, at the same time now, well, not at the same time, but I am going to be going... Uh, I I'm I, I'm going for a wish because one I have no reason not to I know that I can live at least one Draco I can wish protect I he's he'd be at minus one minus two and we can live all these Dracos and it's not gonna bother me at all um, so Vaporeon versus Heatran I'm protecting to scout what he was going to do I figured he was gonna be going for a toxic I was about 90 fucking percent sure this thing was going to be going for a Toxic. And I'm able to get all my HP back, which is a huge plus. He's going to be going for the Lava Plume. One, I'm not really sure at all why he would have gone for that. But at the same time, two, we get burned. So I'm so thankful we got burned and not poisoned. Because that would mean we can take plenty of attacks from Heatran, Kyurem, and we wouldn't get any poison damage. We'd just be burned. And that's not bad at all. Burning of Vaporeon is not bad at all. I wish the Skull did a hell of a lot more to the Heatran, but Heatran's relatively bulky, so I wasn't expecting a whole lot. I was just hoping we were able to break that fucking, um, that fucking, uh, air balloon and just eliminate this Heatran. Uh, looking at that damage, I'm just so, so glad that we, uh, I, I don't know. I, I was questioning why he kept going for overheat. Was it Overheat or Heat Wave? O overheat, I don't even know, I don't even remember. But I just kept questioning why he kept going for that. I'm going for Roar, I could have taken him out, yes. But I figured he was going to be switching out, so that's why I went for Roar. Um, now that Kyurem is in the way, I'm actually pretty happy, simply because he has no chance of switching Kyurem back in, so he really has to leave Kyurem in right now. And in a moment or two, this, this, little, um, this little turn is going to last about a minute or two, maybe less. But the reason why it does is because I wanted Kyurem to use one Draco, which I knew we could live, and I wanted to wish and get all my HP back. So at minus one, he couldn't do anything to me, and then I could just... I wanted to feel comfortable getting all my HP back, so I knew that I could live another Draco and go for a Scald when the time comes. So I really needed just to work around all these Dracos, so I could regain all my HP, and I'd have to use Wish whenever I felt comfortable doing so. So the reason why this look kind of stally is just because of that reason. I needed to work around all the uh, Draco uh, minus uh, all the all the Draco moves that he's gonna be going for, so he can lower his special attack, so we could regain all of our HP. That's exactly what my game plan was. And sooner or later, uh, sooner you will be seeing me destroy, not necessarily destroy, but just take out. Uh, this Kyurem with a Scald, and as you see right there, that Draco's not doing much at all, but I don't really feel comfortable, I don't feel comfortable going for a Scald right now, because he could go into, I don't even know who he has left on his team, but he could go into whoever, and just try revenge killing Vaporeon, so that was a reason why I wanted to go for another Wish, so I could in fact get about over half of my HP back, I know that right now, even from this range, because he lowered his special attack so damn much, I know for a fact that I can live another Draco. Barring a crit, of course, 
but I am going to be regaining my HP after I take him out with a Scald. And knowing that, I am glad that I worked around all those Dracos, and I'm glad that I just tried using Wish as much as I could so I could regain my HP so I could live those Dracos. It was really important, I felt at that time, that I did this little thing that I did just so Vaporeon could live so I could try preserving it later on in the battle if I needed it. And because I'm new in this battle, I really wanted to try um, just preserving a good differential. I really wanted to try proving my worth in this league. And so you're going to see Vaporeon versus Rotom. That's a problem because Vaporeon does not want to get hit with a fucking uh, a Volt Switch or, or Thunderbolt or whatever. But I was, I'm not even joking, I was about 80, okay, 75 to 80% sure this thing was going to go for Pain Split. The reason why is because he couldn't have went for a Volt Switch, but he really had no reason to. Because, I mean, we did in fact have Consuela, which could have potentially eaten a Thunderbolt. And so, I was about 70, 75% sure he's going to go for a Pain Split. Consuela was the best mod to go for, so he wouldn't get all that HP back. I'm... At this point in time, Mancho versus Rotom, and because he used the HP, I was assuming it was HP Fire, I think, question mark? I think it was, but I could be wrong. Um, but Mancho's going to obliterate the Rotom with an HJK. His last Mon is the Heatran, and the Heatran's going to be going down with an HJK as well, because obviously Mancho's going to be outspeeding the Heatran. And so, I just, looking back at this battle, guys, this was... Uh, because I've okay, the team that Tesla drafted originally, and we've already had an ICBA battle. I do believe I I think I kind of forget, but I think it was yeah it was against Leo, so never mind. Um, but this roster, this squad that Tesla drafted was pretty fun because he actually drafted um Rhydon, which we've used in the NPCC, and absolute and I absolutely love Rhydon. Um and. I mean, we, me and Mark, we, we grabbed Manchow, so that was on us, but Greninja, we, we didn't grab, Tesla grabbed, because it was one of the Ubers, and so I'm just really glad that we do have the Protean Greninja. I don't know, it's a Greninja, and Exodrill as well. Exodrill is very fucking powerful, so I'm glad that Tesla, you know, was able to draft Exodrill, and we were able to put some of these mods together to create a, I would like to say a, okay, maybe not a devastating team, because looking at our opponent's team, we had a Lando, Kiora, and Scizor, but we were able to counter um, basically all of his mons, because as you saw, Vaporeon could really deal with those Dracos at, at, at least at full health, and Manchow can just outspeed a lot of the things and just destroy them, and as you saw Greninja transforming into the Dark type with the Dark Pulse, we could eat up the Bolt Switch, so I was really, really happy with this turnout. I was really, really happy with how these Pokemon work together, and if you guys want to throw me any suggestions regarding this new league that I am in, the ICBA, then the comment section is there for that reason. Alpha, I don't even know if I mentioned you in the beginning of the battle, but if I did not, then everyone, please make sure to go check out Alpha. I'm either going to be leaving his YouTube or his Twitter link down in my description, so if you want a chance to go battle him, I suggest you do. But uh, this league is far from over. I am having fun. So if you guys enjoyed the battle, then please leave a damn like on this video. All the support, it really does help me out in the long run. It really, really does. If you believe, if you don't believe me, then fuck it. But it really does. So yeah, I hope all of you have a great day. I hope you enjoyed the battle. And I hope all of you all have a great day. And I'll catch all of you on the flip side.